Welcome back to Watch Collecting Strategy. Today's episode, we've got another special timepiece to showcase that deserves more attention than it usually gets. Before we get into it, allow me to do a quick plug to my store, TickingWay.com. We're constantly curating watches from collectors and we have an incredible selection, so make sure you check it out, www.TickingWay.com. Chanel is very under the radar in terms of watchmaking. That said, we consider this piece to be a collector's best kept secret. High horology for those in the know. It's important to note Chanel invested in high-end independent watchmaking, supporting the likes of F.P. Journe and Romain Gauthier. Those familiar with independent watchmaking will know Romain Gauthier, one of the greats behind the creation of the Logical One. Romain Gauthier assisted in the creation of the Caliber 1 powering the Monsieur, Chanel's first in-house caliber. In this case, Chanel went a step further with the help of Romain Gauthier and developed an exceptionally finished in-house movement featuring twin barrels and a free-sprung balance. Let's take it back to the dial. There's a lot to take in. Let's start off with the complication. This is a retrograde with jumping hours at the 6 o'clock position. The operation is quite simple as seen here. Simply move the hand forward and the minute hand will jump back and reset every hour. Each dial is made out of a piece of marble carefully cut in three to form a section of the dial. This allows the grain of the marble to continue across the entire dial, allowing each of the 55 pieces to have a unique look making it even more exclusive. This timepiece comes with a 42mm case by 10mm. The bezel is made out of steel with a ceramic inlay on top. Overall, this is a collector's best kept secret you get a movement made by one of the best independent watchmakers in the world. It's one of those watches that maybe only you know what's on the inside, but it is a quality timepiece. And Chanel might not be looked at as a serious contender in the watchmaking world, but their dedication to making exceptional timepieces, in my opinion, makes it a great CBKS. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any watches you'd like to see reviewed on the channel, make sure you check out tickingway.com. If you see anything over there you want to see reviewed, let me know in the comment section below or you could email me directly at ab at tickingway.com. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.